All right, so before I start this video, I just want to say one thing. Screw you, 2020. You can eat my toes. Anyways, I also want to say that, to be honest, the worst thing about 2020 ending is the fact that I can't make the seeing in 2020 joke anymore, so I'm probably just going to go uh, down to the local lake and just probably shove my face in it until I can't breathe anymore. Anyways, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to just kind of be reflecting on the past year, and I know this isn't an original idea. Oh my god, I can't speak. I know this isn't a, an original idea like whatsoever i just I, I just really wanted to give you like my thoughts because honestly to every negative there's always a positive and this year had a lot of negatives but there's still a lot of things that honestly couldn't have been done without covid happening as crazy as it sounds covid has made a lot of things super bad and like really worse for me but it's also like there was also some things that were pretty freaking awesome and i i kind of just wanted to share it with you guys i also made a cool little recording booth for this well i didn't make it for this but i made it for like songs and stuff like that and hopefully my voice sounds more full and it kind of sounds more clean because there's not a lot of echo and stuff like that so hopefully this helps and if not then well that's a rip in the chat anywho so for this year the support on the channel has been pretty amazing uh, in terms of like growth i didn't really gain that many subs i think i gained like probably like about a hundred or so like not even but in terms of views in terms of interaction in terms of comments in terms of likes you guys are freaking amazing and i cannot appreciate it enough i just i love you all so much thank you so much the support has been absolutely amazing and you guys are awesome you guys are the reason why i make content and honestly without you guys i probably wouldn't make content because that's how content works you need people to watch it and stuff like that but you guys are absolutely amazing you guys are killing it and i i can't believe that we have made it this far on youtube especially when motivation was down you guys were always there you guys were always supporting me you guys always had my back and i know this sounds really lame and cheesy and stuff but this is how i truly feel and this is how you guys really are and if you guys don't like it like that then well well, I love you. Mwah. Here's a kiss on the forehead. Maybe whenever COVID ends. So uh, COVID actually allowed me to make more and more videos because I was at home all day and because I was procrastinating a lot for school because of COVID, I was able to make a lot more videos, which a lot of my videos are kind of just procrastinations for school, especially my really weird meme ones. Those are like, I'm too lazy to like actually do work. So let's just make a bunch of random videos and stuff like that, which I did. I, I made a lot of random videos, like a lot of my Mr. Bean videos and stuff like that. And honestly, without COVID, I don't think I'd ever make those videos so as weird as it sounds covid allowed me to embrace my inner weirdness and upload crappy videos that make absolutely no sense that you guys seem to really like so yeah you know don't, don't always think negatively about things i probably would have done pretty bad in english last year uh well not last year but in terms of like grade 12 school year not really bad but pretty bad because <laughs> i was doing pretty bad and then covid happened and it was like oh super free easy marks let's go because online school was super easy and it was probably say it literally saved my mark honestly i got like an 83 in it because like of online school so i guess that's a pretty cool bonus as well i don't know why i mean actually i don't know i do know why everything is going to be related to the covid thing although i feel like if i say it too much youtube's going to take down my channel so we're from now on we're going to call covid chicken nuggets chicken nuggets uh well that's a really long i'm just gonna call it chicken so chicken also ruined a lot of things like university i wasn't able to meet new friends in person and i wasn't really able to leave my house like normal it really sucks i made a lot of friends off of discord and stuff like that in my new university well i don't know why i say in my university because it's a university but in my new class for this year i haven't been able to see any of them in person i mean i guess i got to talk to them on discord and stuff but it's not really the same a lot of my friendships throughout high school is because we hung out in person and stuff like that so it's definitely a different experience and it definitely kind of sucks but we kind of got to make best of what we can and what we can do with it and also leaving the house normally obviously a lot of you guys can agree that we don't really have freedom anymore it's a uh, stay in your room and i know like you know, most people were always like oh i'd rather stay in my room i don't really want to leave anymore but now it's the fact that we can't leave anymore we don't have that option it's like okay now i really want to leave and that's probably also why the numbers are going up and why people are making it harder for like the rest of us so much but it really sucks i miss my friend the fact that my christmas party and my birthday party in terms of both my families has got completely ruined and thanksgiving because of chicken nuggets it, it just sucks it really sucks because that's like the best time of the year in my opinion to see my family and everything and it's like one of the greatest like moments of the year because everyone gets together you get to like talk with your family and stuff since we have a really big family it's nice to see them again and i miss them all but we can't <laughs> because of chicken nuggets so it really really sucked it, it was pretty bad and i don't i don't want this video to be too horrible so uh i just want to tell you guys about the positives now and because don't think about the negatives of everything if there's a negative always try to think of 
the positives because the positives don't always outweigh the negatives but in the end those are what makes you happy and if you think negatively you're, you're not gonna be happy in life so just you just gotta try to think of the positives of everything and then eventually you will kind of just ignore the negatives and be like eh, it's whatever but think about the good things in life and just you'll be happy you know what I mean that's why I'm always so happy sometimes <laughs> lol so this year I actually started my workout journey that was actually pretty cool because I was able to make a pretty big transformation and it made me really really proud it also made a lot of freaking epic content if you guys saw like all my two videos it was pretty great uh this year I was since we were home all day I was able to work out a lot more um especially during because I I didn't really have like school as a uh issue although I did have a lot of work but even then I still found a way to work out and stuff so this year was pretty amazing in terms of that and I am lucky enough to have a mini home gym and in terms of mini is just like a barbell and a bench press and like two dumbbells I mean that's all you really need you don't really need like a full-on gym set a squat rack and pull up bars and stuff like that so this year has been pretty great in terms of that and I was able to make my fitness transformation still and I'm still going I'm still working out I'm working out right now no I'm just kidding but I am still able to make gains and I'm still able to work out which I am still grateful for and it's been pretty great so far at least this year and I know it sucks and I know this year was a pretty bad year but hopefully we can go into 2021 stronger and hopefully people will smarten up and we will actually be able to leave again because I just want to leave my house dude I don't care about wearing masks I just want to be able to go into stores without being like oh sorry only three people are allowed at a time and stuff like that it's just really annoying and I just hope it ends soon hopefully 2021 is better I know everyone's saying that and every year everyone's like oh 2019 suck hopefully 2020 is better I mean look how that turned out or 2018 sucks hopefully 2019 is better and you know it's just stuff like that and I don't want to be like those guys but to be honest I, I just want 2021 to come screw you 2020 you can eat my freaking big toe help you choke on it swallow it hopefully it comes out of your butthole and you have massive diarrhea because my toe just completely ruptures all your arteries so yeah eat my nuts 2020 anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video uh diss track on 2020 coming soon question mark i don't know <laughs> i hope you guys have an amazing new year's hopefully 2021 is better for all of us and even if 2020 sucked and it was the worst year possible hopefully you can think of at least some of the positives of this year and go into 2021 happy and not sad because it happened but be happy the fact that the good things happen and not the bad things happen just i don't know just just some food for thought except if you're not hungry then just you know you, you don't need to eat or anything but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i love you all you guys are amazing i appreciate all the support so much i would give you all a hug right now but um yeah you know that's kind of impossible thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i love you all peace out bye guys